If you're wondering whether you can still jailbreak a Fire TV stick in 2025 or a Fire TV, the answer is absolutely yes. In this video, I will quickly explain what jailbreaking is and show you how to easily access great free content on your streaming device by loading it with the latest and best apps. You don't need to be tech savvy. This is something anyone can do themselves in just a few minutes. Let's check it out. Before we get started, let's clarify what the term jailbreaking actually means. Jailbreak refers to gaining root access to software in order to remove certain restrictions. Now, when it comes to the Fire Stick, Fire Cube or Fire TV devices, this process is not necessary. Instead, you simply need to make a small adjustment in your Fire Stick settings to enable side loading, which allows you to install apps from sources other than the Amazon App Store. Although many people search for jailbreaking in relation to these devices, it is technically inaccurate. What we will be doing is called sideloading, not jailbreaking. To install apps not available on the Amazon App Store, we need to use an app called Downloader. Here's how to install it. From the home screen, choose the Find option then click on search. Use your remote to start typing the word downloader. As you select the letters, suggestions will appear below to save you from typing the whole word. Tap down and click on downloader. Next, select the orange downloader app and on the next screen, click the button to get or download the app. After installing, click Open and, if prompted, allow downloader access to your files. Now you can use the Downloader app to download apps. However, you won't be able to install any downloaded application files until you carry out the next step, which is to change your Fire Stick settings. Go to your Fire Stick home screen, tap across and select the gear icon to open your Fire Stick settings. Next, tap down and select My Fire TV and then select Developer Options. If you can't find Developer Options, click on About. Then with the name of your Fire Stick highlighted, Tap the select button on your remote seven times until you see a message at the bottom of the screen that says no need, you are already a developer. Once you see that message, press back once and you can now access developer options. After selecting the developer options, choose install unknown apps and then tap on downloader to switch the permission from off to on. You can now use the Downloader app to access websites, including download pages and app stores, allowing you to install additional applications on your Fire Stick, similar to the download page I created on my website. Here's how to use my downloads page. Open Downloader and type in 28907, then click Go. Wait a few seconds for my downloads page to load, then press the menu button on your remote and press it again to enter full screen mode. Select any category you're interested in, then tap on any app in that list to install it. If you're not sure what the app is and you need more information about it, tap the link next to the app icon to learn more. To download the app, scroll down until you see a light blue download button that looks exactly like this. Select it to start the installation process. Once the app is installed, 
click done and then select delete twice to delete the installation file to free up space on your Fire Stick. You can then go to your app screen to open it and enjoy using your newly installed app. By following the steps in this video, you have learned what the term jailbreak actually means and why it is not relevant to Fire TV devices. Plus, you're now able to sideload a variety of great apps for lots of free entertainment. Let me know what your favourite apps are in the comments. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and watch for more tech tips and reviews on my channel.